which antimicrobials are not effective for a particular situation so throughout the antimicrobial videos we will keep on discussing this antimicrobial is effective against pseudomonas this antimicrobial is effective against staph aureus this is effective against this bacteria we will keep on discussing but there may be 40 drugs 20 drugs effective against a particular bacteria but in the mcq sometimes question is asked which drug is not effective so answering the mcq will become easy so you need to remember not effective although we will also discuss what is the drug of choice for that which is less important but more important not effective so what are the things you need to remember first and most important is asked about pseudomonas this question is asked all of the following are effective against pseudomonas except so always they keep on changing the three drugs which are effective but the answer always always remains same and that is vancomycin remember vancomycin is only for gram positive bacteria it is not for pseudomonas and what is the drug of choice for pseudomonas the drug of choice is ceftazidim plus any amino glycoside ceftazidim plus amino glycoside combination is drug of choice then second thing which they ask is which is not effective against mrsa methicillin resistant staph aureus remember no beta lactam no penicillin cephalosporin carbapenem and monobactam they are not effective against mrsa but one exception except the fifth generation cephalosporins fifth generation cephalosporins they are effective for mrsa they contain a role in the name ceftarolin ceftibiprole they are effective no other beta lactam is effective whereas a drug of choice for mrsa we all know is vancomycin so see very carefully vancomycin is not for pseudomonas but drug of choice for mrsa then third they ask which is drug not effective against enteric fever enteric fever caused by salmonella mostly and the drug which is not effective is aminoglycoside remember aminoglycosides are not for salmonella the drug of choice for enteric fever is ceftrioxone ceftrioxone is a drug of choice next which is not effective against anaerobic bacteria here again the answer is aminoglycosides remember aminoglycoside require oxygen for entry in the bacteria if the oxygen is not used by bacteria they cannot enter they will not be effective so aminoglycoside is not effective but the drug of choice for anaerobic bacteria is normally metronidazole for git infections whereas clindamycin for lung abscess and brain abscess and one last is mycoplasma mycoplasma remember it do not contain cell wall so any drug inhibiting cell wall senses will not be effective the important beings beta lactams and vancomycin they are not effective against mycoplasma whereas the drug of choice for mycoplasma is azithromycin so this slide you must remember you cannot forget this slide okay